Orient Art Center's Art and Flower Fair kicked off on the morning of Saturday, May 20th and concluded on Sunday, May 21st. More than 100 vendors lined the streets of Flint and Broadway with a heavy emphasis on art. The Art Center offered crafts for kids while visitors enjoyed food and music and of course there were flowers galore. We have so many flowers. I'm very excited about that. We have um, three or four different flower vendors and the streets are filled so we're very excited. It's very beautiful and I'm excited to see all the different colors. It really brightens the town up. We've had a huge turnout this year. We were actually turning away vendors. We haven't had that in quite a while. Um, so we have been able to be a little bit more selective on our vendors too. We have a lot more art here this year, which has been a big goal of ours from the beginning is we want to just infuse art into this community along with the home improvements and we have a lot of great food vendors. So um, it's been great to see all the people turn out for this. Um, we have at least 106 vendors um, so far there's going to be a couple more tomorrow so big crowd the sky was a bit gloomy on saturday but that didn't seem to keep families from coming to downtown lake orion on sunday there was nothing but blue skies and sunshine which brought out even more visitors money raised from the event allows the art center to serve the community so this all the proceeds from the vendors and the sponsors and um, we'll have a, a beer tent tonight with live entertainment that all directly supports the Art Center so we can bring art into the community. We have a lot of um, children's programming that we're bringing to all of the events throughout the summer. Um, it helps pay for our instructors and just keep our, our gallery open and doors open to artists in our area. Now, this is a true community event. Uh, we got sponsors and vendors from all over. What do you want to say to them for helping make this possible? Yeah, thank you. I mean, the sponsors have really showed up this year. Um, we have Genesis and MSB Bikes. Um, I don't know if I can list all of them off right now, but the Orion Review and everyone has just really come together, and it's great to see the community um, supporting this. And um, everyone coming out is um doing crafts with our sponsors here too so that's a new fun thing we have this year the sponsors are all bringing free crafts to do too so it's um it's really great to see everyone come together for more information on classes exhibits and membership be sure to visit orionartcenter.org in downtown lake orion this is joe johnson reporting for on tv news